We recently switched over from the old version of Office to the brand new Office 365 online. And we were asked to actually create our new signature in the new Outlook. And as a result, we had to get used to or figure out how to add. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a signature on Outlook 365 and hopefully this will help and we'll get right to it. So in the instructions that we found on the web, when you actually search for all the different permutations or combinations for Outlook through Outlook 365 or such, it basically told you to hit the settings widget icon or the settings widget. And when you hit it, you actually have to go down to view all Outlook settings. Frankly, there was other instructions, but regardless, this is what you'll need to do. So view all Outlook settings. And once you click on it, you'll have a bunch of different options that hopefully will default to mail. And in the instructions that we found online, it said something like layout and basically you would find the instructions here for the signature. But no, they actually added another option and that is in or sorry, compose and reply. So click on this and here you go. It actually is the first option within compose and reply. So you can just put it in here and then once you slip it into this section, you want to click on automatically include my signature on new messages that I compose or not, you know, totally up to you. Um, do note when you actually do copy over sometimes signatures from your old account into here, you might have to manually copy in the images. Okay, that's basically it. I wanted to clarify that and literally that you have to just click on compose and reply when you get into these options. Again, when you jump into your Office 365 for Outlook, you want to click on the widget click on the widget and then click on view all Outlook settings. And then here, compose and reply and there your email signature. Hope that helps. And we will try to provide more really handy pieces of advice here on Seattle Organic SEO.